In this lecture, we are now going to program the functionality to automatically delete the account information of all users who do not activate their account after three days of registration. So when a user clicks on the sign up button and then create a new account, they are supposed to activate the account through their email address. So if we wait for three days and the user doesn't activate the account, we want to automatically delete such information from our database. This is very important because as your system begins to grow, more people register. Some people even use wrong email address to sign up and they never activate their account. So if you leave this information in your system, your database will soon grow to an extent that you have junk information right in there. Let's get into the code and see how we can implement this. Uh, basically, this is just similar to the previous lecture where we deleted the user's account. If they have deactivated their account, then they have not logged in after 14 days. So the code is slightly similar, just that for this, we are going to be doing another check just to ensure that we are not making any mistake. All right, so to illustrate this, before we get into the code, I'm going to create two new accounts. So we use the test account, test at example.com, and then username, we just say test, and then password, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we're going to create another one, test one, username should be test one, then password, All right, so we have two new accounts in the users table, test and test one. So we're going to actually just activate one of them. And then this one, we're not going to activate it. But what we also need to do is to backdate the sign up date to three days. Okay, so we backdate to 18th. All right, so this is 18th. I'm just going to also backdate this to 18th. And this is also 18th. All right, so we have activated test. We're going to log in as user test now, and then we are going to enter the password. All right, for test, we want to deactivate his account. All right, so for test, we have deactivated his account. Refresh, account is deactivated, and then the information should be in our trash table. All right, so what we want to prevent when we write our script to delete account that has not been activated for uh, three days after the register, we don't want to delete an account that was actually deactivated by the user. So in this case, we see here that user test has deactivated his account and user test has a 14 day period to decide if they want to log in again. If they eventually want to log in again before the 14 days period, we log them in automatically. But don't forget that this script is going to be running every day. So we need to ensure that when we are deleting test one who has not activated our ESO account, we don't delete test account because test actually deactivated his account by themselves. So we give them that grace period of 14 days. If they don't activate their account or log in, Within that 14 days period, we already have a script that will take care of this kind of scenario. So we're just going to write our site maintainer script to only delete those accounts that they have activated set to zero here and they don't have a record in the trash table. So if we come here in trash table, we see that this user have a record here. So we're going to be checking if this user has a record here, then we don't want to delete it. But if this user, who has not activated the account within the three days period that we're giving, do not have a record in the trash table, then we are going to delete it. All right, so I think with this, it's a lot easier to see how the code will look like. Let's go over again to the test editor and in our auto delete file, we are going to write another statement here. Okay, so we're just going to put a try block here and then we put the corresponding cache block. PDO exception. All right, so for the exception, like I said previously, you can just log this in your log file or send an email to yourself. Also get rid of this. You can uh, actually get some of the codes here to make things a little bit fast. Let's grab all of these codes. And then we're just going to edit it. So our SQL query this time, so let's name this SQL query one. It's going to be select. We are going to get ID, going to get username, from this time should be users where join date is less than or equal to current date minus interval. This time should be three. 
okay so and we are not just checking only these we also want to ensure that's activated okay so we say and activated it's actually equal to zero all right so we're doing this for only users that their account has not been activated so we're going to get their id and get their username okay for all those that have not activated the account after three days of registration so here we have user id this should be id because we are now checking the users table and then next we should also get the username okay all right so what we now need to do is to actually check if this user has a record in the trash table so to do that we can actually call that function again check duplicate entry so i'm going to paste the comment here and then say if get rid of this check duplicate entry we enter the name of the table should be trash the column name that we want to check is user underscore id the value we want to pass will be the user id variable and then we also want to pass in the database connection string so don't forget this function is going to return true or fox so now we want to see if this record doesn't exist if it doesn't exist what we want to do is actually delete the picture okay in this case this user is not going to have a profile picture because don't forget in our system we only allow you to update your profile picture when you have already activated your account so if in your system you are allowing the user to upload their profile picture when they are registering you can actually leave this block of code okay so this will actually do no harm if we leave it here but for our system we can actually get rid of this and everything will still work correctly so we also need to get rid of these so we're just going to delete the record from the users table where the id is equal to to be user id and activated equal to zero limit equal to one all right so essentially the only thing that is new here is that we are just checking if the value that we are getting from this function is false okay if it is false which means that this user doesn't have any record in the trash table then we are safe to actually delete the user's information don't forget that we don't want to delete the record if there is a matching record in the trash table all right so let us now go and run our auto delete in the browser if we run the auto delete script now we should still have the value for test this is the user that deactivated by themselves okay test forget if we go back to the trash table you can see the user id for here we should still have that record in the system if our script works correctly all right so log at this user just come here and say auto delete okay so we're getting an error message undefined variable rule all right so uh, let me see first if anything happened here okay nothing happened here and uh nothing happened here this is line 43 code to undefined function okay so this i know all right so come here we need to add utilities.php here and here we say utilities.php line 43 okay so this is the error message we're getting so this is supposed to be rs instead of role all right so let's refresh the browser one account deleted so if we come back here and do a browse this is still here okay so if we come to the users table we can see that the test one account is no longer here so with this we can auto delete users account if they don't activate three days after creating that account so the next step is for us to actually upload the system online and then use cron job to ensure that this task is being executed at least once in a day or depending on your preference you can decide to check it every 30 minutes every five hours but for our own example that we'll be using in this course we'll let this script run once in a day using cron job